Hi travelers and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the leaked images of the Risen Pass in Genshin Impact coming at 1.3 update. The images that you see here are the ones that we have seen leaked but they are not official for MiHoYo. If these leaks are truly real and legit then get ready to spend money on resin. We all knew this was coming, we all knew that the reason why they didn't reduce the cooldown refresh timers on the resin was because sooner or later they were going to release something like this so that we can purchase more resin to progress in the game. This system is going to make a big massive difference in Genshin Impact for good and worse. There will be different subscription levels and based on the subscription levels you will be getting 40 resin daily. So what this means for paying players is that basically you can reach AR56 in no time because once you reach level 55 for all your players that haven't reached that level yet, it takes a very long time to get to AR56. But with this new system being introduced, if it's legit, then you will get to 56 in no time. But this is a downside to all the other free to play players. Why? Because you guys are going to be left so far behind based on a lot of aspects in the game. For example, you'll always be low on Mora, Hero Wit and all the other materials that you need based on resin. Another one would be artifacts. That is the main part of the game. You need a lot of artifacts to sacrifice them in order to level up the main artifacts you want to level up for those certain characters. Another one will be your AR rank. You are going to be so far left behind because you're not purchasing all these resin that you can use to increase your AR rank. It's going to eventually have the pay, pay to play players scale up so high with the AR rank and you guys be so low compared to their scale. But the good news to it is everyone that does pay to play this game, they will be able to have a lot of supply of Mora, Heroi, etc. in order to level up all the characters needed and use different varieties of teams and the content creators can also experiment with different types of teams and maybe showcase a lot of varieties of support characters and main DPS characters to show all you guys out there what is the best teams to use. My fear with all these new things that they're introducing to Genshin Impact is going to affect our community in Genshin Impact based on all the free to play players out there who don't want to spend too much on the game. Mahoyo, what I suggest you guys should be doing is introducing more ways to get free rewards and more resin so that the free to play players don't fall behind because if you lose them as well, the community for Genshin Impact is going to become a really, really small community and trust me, you guys don't want that because even for free to play players, they still pay a bit of money on the game sometimes. The conclusion to this video is that yes, it's an awesome idea to introduce Resin Pass into the game so that the ones that do want to play the game more, they can pay for it and play more during the day or night. But for all your free to play players, it's a big, big disadvantage and a di disappointment because you guys are not going to be playing the game as much if you don't spend money on it. But that is my thoughts on the game guys. If you guys have different kind of thoughts on what's gonna happen to the game if this resin pass is actually legit and I would like to read them. So type in that comment section below please. And that's it for this video guys. Like, share, subscribe and as always, take it easy.